Hey guys, Lightbolt Joe here. Today we're going to discuss very briefly a year in review of being vegan. Um, we talked about it a little bit a couple weeks ago. Yeah, I don't know how I don't know what to talk about. <laughs> we talked about it kind of. So my friend Nick suggested I try it because I'm allergic to a lot of stuff, and I was like, you know what? You got an idea? All right, I'll just do the rundown very quickly, and then thoughts. So, um, the first two weeks were god awful. I felt like a drug addict going through withdrawals. But you gotta realize, I cut out the standard vegan stuff meat, dairy, egg, you know, nothing from the animal, minus honey. I consider that fine because it's just bee vomit, but people argue about it, whatever. Um, but I also cut out like junk food, like french fries and chips, and I also cut out coffee, and I also cut out. Monster. I'm a huge monster drinker, and I haven't had a monster in literally a year. So, an upcoming video, we will have my first monster, and we'll talk about monster, and why it's so important to me on a spiritual level. Because I eventually went back to chips, I eventually went back to french fries, I eventually went to junk food that I could eat. I went back to coffee in November because I was like, this is completely stupid. Why am I depriving myself of caffeine? And then... Months later, I'm like, wait a minute. If I went back to coffee, I can go back to Monster. Like, that's totally fine. Like, caffeine's caffeine, you know. Taurine's taurine. Gorine is gorine, you know. Whatever. So, I was like, you know what? I'll just push myself to do a one full year of Monster and then complain in a future video about how pointless it was of me to stop drinking Monster. So, that'll be the next video. But today, we're going to talk about the vegan diet. I am not the douchebag vegan who will scream in your face or post all about these terrible animal cruelty things. Like, I get it, okay? I get it. It's hard to watch an animal being tortured. It's hard to watch a human being tortured. Fun fact, humans are a part of the animal kingdom. So yes, if you're against murder of humans, theoretically you should be against murder of animals because we're all animals, blah, 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 this and that. I do not care if you eat a hamburger in front of me. If you want to put a plate of steak in front of my face, go for it. Have a field day. What you put in your body is not my concern because it doesn't affect me. What I put in my body affects me. If you want to eat that steak, eat that steak. If you want to eat ice cream, eat ice cream. I know damn well I'm going to outlive you, but that's fine. That's perfectly fine. Who am I to judge what you put in your body? As long as you're not shooting up heroin or snorting coke or something excessive to physically destroy you quickly, it's not my concern. It's not my concern. It doesn't affect me. Okay? Just be you. Be safe, happy, and healthy in your own way. Just because I can't process meat anymore doesn't mean you can't process meat. Just because I was on an old yogurt diet at one point doesn't mean I should go back to that. You could probably still do that. That's fine. No two bodies are the same. My digestive system is not your digestive system. The way we both process things is not the same. It's fine. It's cool. No worries, man. No worries. The cool thing about this being vegan thing is that I went from 180 to 140 within a month and a half last summer, actually, pound-wise. And then when I went back to junk food, I went back up to 150. And I'm fine. I am fine in a 150 pound weight of a 5'7", 5'8"-ish height, depending on what shoe I wear. Like, of course I can work out more, but, like, I have a flat stomach, and I don't have to, and I eat cookies. And, like, I don't have to do a thousand sit-ups a day, like I used to, which was ridiculous. But it's... It's fine. I'm thin. I'm I'm healthy. I'm getting the stuff I need to get. I'm getting my proteins. I'm getting my vitamins. I'm getting my minerals. Like, everything is cool, man. Everything is cool. There are weird vegans out there. Weird. And I'm so happy I'm not one of them. I am my own beautiful vegan self, and that's all. That's all. Uh, that's, we're good. We're good. If you want to try it, try it. Let me tell you, when you start out, those first two weeks are hell. You will be just hell. You're going to feel like you're dying, and there's nothing you can do about it. That's just how withdrawals work. But then once you get past the hump, you're good. You're good to go.
Do I crave hamburgers anymore? Not really. I just need to make sure that my stomach is full and I'm good. That's it. Peace. <laughs> it's really not that exciting of a of a review for being vegan for a full year. You know, I'm not gonna like break it. Of course I just posted, you know, a joke picture of eating a gyro and that went over quite well. But that's the fun part. You get to make pranks, you get to tell jokes. Cause I am very nonchalant about certain things. Other things I do care about excessively, but this it depends. Depends. Like if we're talking on a friend front, you know, I'm I'm very inclusive, as I've been told recently. I always I, I make sure no one feels left out. So if I'm going somewhere, I'm gonna invite a bunch of people. And if I wind up going to somewhere by myself after inviting 20 people, then so be it. Why am I gonna let someone else's schedule dictate if I have fun or not? I, I, no. Be happy, be healthy, be you. <laughs> As Viola Davis says in uh, The Help, you is kind, smart, you is kind, you is important. Or in the grammatically correct thing, you are smart, you are kind, you are important. All right? Mucho mahalo, guys. <laughs>